Hello, welcome to the channel, welcome back to the channel. I am going to do a quick tool review today. So I haven't done a tool review, or many tool reviews, I thought I'd do one for you. Today I'm going to be using our Draper Expert, it's an induction heating tool. Draper Expert induction heating tool, that's the number 80808. It's the 1KVA one, I think. No, no, I'm sure it is. It is an absolute cracking piece of kit, this is the case you get. We bought ours from Tool Station. This is the kit you get, you can tell I've used it a bit. You get this one, which is like flat so it can gans into tighter spaces a bit easier. But this one, which is a nice tight one, which you can use on the likes of um, truck red ends. Works really well on truck red ends and ball joints because it, because it's a flameless heat. It doesn't, but you don't run the risk of burning the boot. And then you also get this one, which is very handy. It's a flexible one, so if you can't get onto it, like you got want to wrap it around the tie rod, you can do that. It's really good, really good. At the minute, I have bigger end on. This is the tool, so you got your machine here, which you plug into your three-pin plug. You got your on-off switch. Nice and simple to use. You got your shoulder strap because you need to hook because you throw it over your shoulder. This is your lance end. So you, you give it a little button, a little light. So that's off. Green is off. Orange is working. The flashing red means that it's not working. You might be too close to the, the material or whatever. It's got a little fan in it to keep it cool. And it works absolutely brilliant. I'm just gonna throw this over my shoulder. Uh, you throw it over your shoulder, uh, you got your tool, I've already used it tons, as you can tell by the end it's getting tired. And this is not a paid promotion or anything like that, no we paid this alright so it's a genuine, genuine review. It's not here which, I don't know, you can't really see it, I don't. There you go, I've got the lamp on, you can see that is a very nasty looking exhaust exhaust clamp bulb. So I'm gonna warm it up. What I like to do is I like to warm them up, get my wire brush, which is still over there, wire brush it off, takes the loose off, and then warm it up again so that it's all glowing red and then wind them off. And with this tool it takes seconds and it's super safe. So two seconds. So this is stone cold, so you can see I'm putting my paws on it. Throw that on, press the button. A little orange light showing. This is unedited as well. It's warming up. I don't know if you can see the smoke coming off it yet or not. But this is within seconds. It's already starting to glow. How quick is that? Now, if you're doing that with a burner, a torch, an oxyacetylene, it would take a lot, 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 lot longer than that, and you'd have to worry about where you're pointing the flame. Then also, when you're done, you take it off, you hang it down by your side, get me by your brush, knock the crap off. Ow. Best wear gloves, but I'm not, because I'm silly. There we go. I left my ratchet doing there. But as well as you can see, that's glowing red, and I've, that's stone cold. So a stone cold type of clamp. Mildly warm. If you were doing that with Oxy, you would not be able to do that. Let's get that nice and hot again. You can see it's already cleaned the threads off. It's nice and hot. Whoops, I dropped it by accident. It's okay, because it was hanging on my shoulder so it didn't damage anything. Get my ratchet out of your pocket. I'm a bit slow today because I'm getting ratchet on. How? How brilliant is that? That is. I purposely didn't shorten the video, edit the video at all, so you can see that was just the process and how good it is. It's a cracking piece of kit, and I genuinely 
worth its weight in gold, makes life a million times easier for a million jobs. Well worth the work, well worth the, the expenditure. You'll you'll save so much time if you do use it. It's also safe, and it governs in the carry case. It all packs away nicely. So if you're mobile in the van, you can put it any away. It stays nice, secure, and you just go out the case, grab it, and walk out. So yeah, hope that helps. And if you have any questions, drop a comment in below, and I'll see if I can answer it. Or if you need another video of similar thing, let me know. And yeah. If it helps, thumbs up and like it and comment. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to... Whoops. Broke something. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe because I will try and get some more of these sort of videos done as well as my other content with the likes of Restore and the RF and the Scammels and Volvos and old vans and stuff. Hope, you, hope that helps and we'll catch you all soon.